world and um, try to get more women interested in aviation. Very cool. Is there a cost to participate? There isn't, and in fact, um, a lot of the young women who are in this program are getting credit through their high schools to participate. Um, there's also the option to do this Harbor Freight Fellowship, um, which all the girls doing the build right now are involved in, where they actually get an $1,000 stipend for participating, and this is a program meant to encourage people to go into the trades. And Habitat for Aviation has some pretty ambitious plans to expand, right? It does. So uh, Beth White, along with her parents, bought a really big warehouse at the Franklin County State Airport a couple years ago. And so Beth has launched a $10 million capital campaign. She's aiming to turn this warehouse into a state-of-the-art hangar, um, an education space, and also build a taxi lane that connects the warehouse to the runway at the airport, um, and also have another hangar that would service uh, Beta Technologies' Alia plane, which is the electric plane that they're developing as a way to teach young people how to, um, how to maintain electric aircraft. So that is a ways down the road, but that is her, her kind of grand plan right now. How can young girls get involved? And is it only for young girls? Let's clarify that. The idea is not that it's gender exclusive to just girls, but the idea is that it's a primarily all women environment because they found that kind of having that kind of environment makes girls more comfortable in learning about these issues, these um, skills. But um, there's definitely opportunities for boys to get involved as well. And the best way to learn more about how to get involved would be to go to their website, which is habitatforaviation.org. Your story's out in seven days, Allison Novak. Thank you. Be well. Thanks very much.